YouTube, how you guys doing? What's up? Welcome to a new video. Today, guys, I've got an awesome video for you guys. So we're going to be utilizing this new Black Ops 3 Dart Trick Shot. Holy shit, I just, no way. I just dong that first attempt, triple clap. Anyways, we're going to be utilizing this new Black Ops 3 Dart Trick Shot glitch. If you don't know how to do it, I will leave a link down in the description because I've already made a video showing you guys how to do this. And yeah, the video itself was so dope. So like I said, the link's in the description. Please go check it out. Anyways, map number two. So the plan for today's video, guys, like I said, we're hitting three dongers. However, the first two are actually going to be set up, and then the final one's going to be an unset up freaking smoke car, utilizing this glitch on Black Ops 3. So I understand that's going to be pretty tough, but I'm honestly excited for that. Anyways, check out this map. We're jamming some fringe. We got the bots in freaking no man's land all the way over there on that truck. From here, we're going for this dope shot. Like zoom. Oh my dude, there, there is no freaking way I just hit that. That is no joke. I had two practice attempts, then I put the flag there. That's my fourth attempt altogether. And I was dude, no freaking way. That's insane. What the frick? Dude, that shot is so sick. Bang! Oh my god, that is sick. Anyways, map number three. You know what, guys? I feel as though we need to take this time to just sit back. We don't need any gameplay background because I just want to, you know, think from the head and just tell you guys what the frick's going through my mind right now. As you can tell by the title of this video, I've hit 10,000 subscribers. This is insane. This is the biggest milestone I've honestly ever reached in my life. Like 10,000 subscribers. I want to motivate you guys. I want to look back on this myself because I understand... 10,000 subscribers, it's just a number. It, it ain't anything special when you look at it in that perspective. It's just a number. But what it's taken to reach that figure, to reach that number, is insane. So I'm going to give you guys a little backstory. Three to four years ago, all right? I started YouTube. I, I didn't, like, grind like I'm now, but I, I gave it, you know, a decent effort. And what I've realized, when people do YouTube or anything in life, you go through these moments where, obviously, initially, you don't grow very fast. You grow very, very slowly. But what I've learned, if you're persistent and you're consistent, you keep on going, you will begin to grow. And what will happen over time, you start to grow faster and faster and faster and faster. And you're probably wondering why. Why do you start growing faster? It's because you encounter mistakes. You fail. You fail at certain points. You, you make mistakes, like I just said. But what happens? You bounce back from those mistakes. And once you've made those mistakes, you learn to never do them again. What I've noticed with smaller YouTubers like myself, I'm still going through a time period where I'm still learning how to edit, I'm learning video ideas, I'm learning new types of things that I don't quite understand. And because of that, I've been making some shit content here and there, and I lose subscribers. I remember back in the day, actually, when I was at about 3K, I was making a YouTube video with Red Random, and I was going through this time period where I kept on losing subscribers, and I was asking Random, why do I keep on losing subscribers? He had no clue. Was it like 100K at this point? His honest answer was just... I don't know, dude. I think it's because you're small. And you know what? Instead of me just... That's when every YouTuber stops. I was making mistakes. I was trying out new videos. And as a result of that, I was losing subscribers. All YouTubers stop because of that. Most of them give up. They're like, you know what? This is too hard. It ain't worth it. They give up. I kept them going. I was persistent. I was consistent. Look where I am today. I've been doing YouTube along with uni full-time, work part-time, as well as going for runs almost every day. And gym. Now, you guys probably think the fitness side of things ain't much. But the point is, that takes up like... At least an hour, maybe two hours, every day of my life. So, putting that all together, that takes up a shit ton of time. Like, it's full on. But what I've learned right now, hitting 10k, if you guys want to get here, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. You've got to be persistent. You've got to be consistent. You've got to keep on going. And what it really comes down to, right? We've all got this 24 hours each and every day. We all go by this set schedule. For example, you may get home from school. And when you get home from school, you feel like that's a time to chill, sit back, relax. We all have this time period for our life where, well, this time period each and every day where we like to chill. For example, before I go to bed, I like to watch YouTube for maybe an hour or two. Recently, with this grind, I've realized if I want to be better than someone else, if I want to be successful and I reach my goal, and I want to reach my goal tomorrow rather than, oh, I'll do it in 10 years' time, I've got to take that time frame out of my day and grind. I've got to sacrifice sleep some nights. Recently, I've only been getting like three, maybe four hours sleep, and I'm not kidding every night. Like, I've been so tired. I've been having like six freaking coffees a day. Normally, I only have one. Like, just to keep me awake, keep on grinding. Like, look at my desk right now, guys. This, this is all uni stuff. It's insane. Like, I've been in uni all day, got home, made this video. I'm about to do uni again. I've got a 24-7 pass at gym. I'm going to go hit the gym. There's no excuses anymore. If you want to be successful, if you love what you're doing, anyone can do it. I want to get my apparel going. I know I'm going to do it. My parents keep saying, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. I'm not big enough to get you know enough people buying my apparel because most of my subscribers are American. And because of that, shipping is going to cost a shit ton. But I'm not listening to them. I know I can do it. I told my mum today, just honestly, speak quiet. Let me do what I can do. I, I know I can do this. That's what it's about, mate. We've, got, we've all got that 24 hours per day. What we make of it is what makes you better than someone else. So... 
Hopefully you guys uh, found this a little motivating. I do want to mention, I have got a 10K week coming up. I'm going to give you guys some motivational videos. I'm going to do a Q&A for 10K, a skit. I'm going to be trick shotting on like in each different, like a different COD every map, like with 10K in my clan tag or something. Just a cool trick shotting video. I'm going to be involving so many videos for 10K. Just, I don't know, this, this channel, mate, it's blunt. Just anyone can do this shit. I'm mumbling my words at the moment, but honestly, you can all freaking do it. Just freaking grind. You'll get there. Anyway, it's map number three. Alrighty guys, so I'm guessing this is the part you guys have all been waiting for in the video. The part where we hit that non-setup freaking smoker, utilizing this glitch. This is honestly going to be awesome. I think you guys are going to love this final shot. Like honestly, it's going to be an absolute donger. I think we're going to have to grind for it because let's be honest, it's freaking non-setup and it's Black Ops 3. Like it's going to take a bit, but the end result is going to be well worth it. Now, I am happy to mention that I have upgraded from the single dark glitch alone and I like to call this glitch the stepping stone. So the stepping stone glitch, pretty simple. You put a dart a little lower like so. From there, you use it as a stepping stone to jump up to a dart that's even higher. And check it out, we are in top, well we are on top of a freaking palm tree on combine. Like, it's honestly insane. If we hit this, guys, I'm gonna go off my freaking chops. Like, it's just, dude, this spot is just nuts. Like, how sick is this? Like, oh my god, you guys are all gonna hit this. Link it to my clips of the month. Make sure it's unset up. And honestly, you will place. Because this is nuts. Like, be creative. Come up with awesome spots. Like, you ready? Bang! Oh my god, almost dong that bloke. Alright, so. I'm going to show you guys one more attempt. So this video isn't too long. And then from there, yeah, you guys will see the donger. And yeah, just, I can't thank you guys enough for 10k. I have some awesome videos on that coming up in the future. But for now, just admire this last attempt. And admire the spot. You ready? Bang! Oh my god, that was a bad attempt. Anyways, check out the shot. God, was that a donger? My mum just went to bed, so I got a whisper. Holy shit! <gasps> Dude, oh wait, what? Did I not know? I swear I knifed again. The kill cams are retarded on this game. I always do. Like, sometimes I shoot insta-swap, and it never shows my insta-swap. I swear I did a double knife, but it didn't show. Nevertheless, guys, that was awesome. This video in general was awesome. I can't thank you guys enough for 10k. Shit, I forgot I put rounds on, just in case I accidentally kill. That way the darts stay. Still stay up there, sorry. Anyways... I'm gonna go. Hopefully you guys enjoy your day. I'm just in... Oh, I love you guys. Anyway, see you later. Nice work, Black Ops.